Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing some swatches and doing a tutorial with the new Jeffree Star Fall Collection Pricked Palette. Um, of course, this palette is vegan, cruelty-free. It is actually like a purse, which I think is so cool. You know, I've got a few of Jeffree Star's palettes, so I'm gonna show you a few. Here is the Bloodlust palette. And you can tell his packaging is always so unique. Not very like practical, but if you are a collector, I feel like that is where his brand really comes into play. It is for the true like makeup lover. So this is the Bloodlust palette, gorgeous palette here. And you will see all of these clasps are different, which we will get into with this new palette. Then I've got the Blood Sugar palette. This was his first like palette like this anyway. And then you can tell, I mean, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that one, but that one has these clasp. Then you have the Blood Money, which has a clasp like this, like where you pull this together and then it pops up like that. You've got this gorgeous palette. So I have a few more, um, but I just pulled a few to show you guys. Now we are gonna go ahead and open up this guy right here. So of course, you know, vegan, cruelty free, just like the rest of his brand. This retails for $52. I do not, seriously, I don't understand how he got that price point for this palette. Now, as you can tell with this one, this clasp is really fun. It reminds me of like old school, like diaries or something. So let's go ahead and get rid of this packaging. Um, I am just gonna rip this off. There's no way I would be saving this. All right, here it is. And then on the back, you know, it's got the basic, you know, palette information. Again, you have got this clasp here. And we are gonna open this up of course you have got a big mirror and then take out this little insert here are the shades here so you have got 20 shades i'm going to go ahead and give you guys some swatches and i love the names of these two it's definitely like scorpio inspired i feel like all right, so we have got pale in comparison. So this is like a pale color, but it's got like a tangerine shift. You see that? I think that would be a very pretty even highlighter. Oh my God, that color is gorgeous. It's called Fashion Whore. And then this color is Sliver of Sanity. Next, we have got Cutting Edge. That is a beautiful crease shade. Then this one looks like almost like a macaroni type color. That's Vitamin C Word. This is Unpeeled Pleasure. That one was a little crumbly, but still gorgeous. Swatched amazing as well. And then you've got Pulp addiction and that shade is a gore just as well now on jeffrey's website these colors just say like as far as the types of shades it just had mattes and metallics so none of those like diamond type shades even though a few of these look like it all right so sorry this color right here is mysterious circumstances this like hot orange here is papaya latex and then we have orange fatale that is a gorgeous shade twisted taste then you've got thorny forged double crossed 
blunted. All right, and then the final row, I have got Glimmer of Hope. Wow, that is freaking gorgeous. Slice Me Open, which is a beautiful burgundy shade as well. And then you have got Deadly Intentions, which is a matte black with a ton of orange reflux in there. And with his shades like this, those glitters will come through. All right, you guys, our swatches are done. Let's go ahead and start with an eye look. Oh, and something I wanted to show you guys as well was just the imprints that he had on this palette. There was, of course, he always chose to do like a few special ones. So you've got like a knife dripping right here. You've got the Scorpio. You've got a tattoo gun with the forged color. Um, you've got like an old school like cigarette right here with the mysterious circumstances. And then fashion whore, you've got like a little shopping bag. So anyway, I thought that those were cute. I think I'm probably going to go in with Fashion Whore just because I thought that color was so beautiful when I swatched it. Now, of course, you've got that giant mirror. This will sit up like this. So literally, you could put it on your desk and you've got like a stand up mirror you can see your whole face in. All right. Those swatches did give me some staining, as you can tell. So... I know that I'm going to have a little bit of staining on my lids. I did go ahead and prep my lids with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit closer. Alright, so starting off, I'm going to go into this Cutting Edge shade. Now you can see this palette does have some kick up. It doesn't really bother me. It just means these are very softly pressed. They are going to be very pigmented and blend very easily. That is what that means to me when I see that in a palette. So I put this on my brush, tap a little bit off. And you can tell how easily this is blending out. Very pigmented. You see how light that is in the pan and you see how that comes off on the eye. All right, next up, I'm gonna go into a little smaller crease brush and I think I'm gonna go into Thorny down here. So I'm just tapping into that. And you can see how freaking pigmented that is. I barely tapped into the shade. So basically, I'm just bu building up a gradient of these orange shades on my lid. Yeah, I'm going to really blend this shade out down here. Because I think I'm going to put like a burgundy in that outer corner. But I do want to lay down just a darker, like almost more vibrant type of an orange right there okay now I'm gonna go into like a little flat brush and I'm gonna go into this Scorpio shade here it's called double crossed and I'm gonna this is what is gonna be on my outer corner over here Okay, now I'm going to go back into that smaller crease brush that we were using with the darker color. And I'm just going to blend out that crease. Nothing additional on this brush. Whatever remnants were left behind. And I'm just going in windshield wiper motions in that crease. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to take this color here so freaking pretty 
and we're gonna pop this right on the lid. That is so pretty. You see all those sparkles in there? Mm. All right, now I'm gonna go on with like a flat, fluffy brush. And I think I'm gonna go in between those two crease shades that we used. I'm gonna look down and right where that crease is, I'm just gonna brush this through. Okay. And then a final step that I want to do, I freaking love this shade down here. I want to go into Slice Me Open and I want to apply that down here like a liner just to bring in some of that burgundy shade. Okay. So, that is it. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to clean this up, do my other eye, put on my base makeup, and then we'll be back for the lower lash line and like final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back. I got on the rest of my makeup. I'm going to put on, this is MAC Shrimpton. Another like favorite color of mine. You can tell how much this one is used. But yeah, love that color. We're going to go ahead and do the lower lash line. Now, I had already started doing my mascara by accident, so hopefully I don't mess this up. Um, but I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. Slice me open. And I'm going to get this as close to the lash line as I can. I'm just going to go like that. I did throw this color right here. Um, pale in comparison. I did put that under my brow bone. So you can tell that there. Uh, I'm going to get my little pencil brush and I'm going to go into Thorn and I'm just going to kind of blend that color out. Like pull it up to connect up here. Okay, and then for the inner corner, I'm going to go into that pale in comparison shade. And I'm going to pop that right there. All right, I'm going to catch up the other eye, put on my mascara, and we'll be back for the final thoughts. Okay guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I freaking love the eye look. I love warm colors like this. I think everything performed amazing. Let's talk about the palette though. Is this practical? No, no. But I mean, you can see the previous palettes that I have from him. That is his brand. He is always, he's not trying to make something that you can get anywhere else. Jeffree Star always thinks outside of the box and is always creating things that are new and different in the beauty industry. And that is why I love his brand so much. I mean, also, you saw how well these shadows performed, how easy it was for me to get this look, how everything blended together. Um, I can't believe that he was able to produce this quality at $52. That is just insane to me. I mean, this is like a nice quality, like pleather bag. This is really nice quality. And I just, I can't believe that he was able to pull off this packaging, keep that same great Jeffree Star quality eyeshadow formula that I am used to at a $52 price point. It's insane to me. I think that if you are a makeup lover, if you love these colors, while it's not the most practical thing to use every day, 
if you were getting this to use every single day, look at this palette. Look at that color story. This shade was delicious. So was this one. The color that I have on my lids, I freaking love. This shade, this like pinky metallic love. Um, even this black with all of those orange reflex. These two colors are gorgeous. You've got a ton of really nice blending crease shades. You've even got these like more poppy bright type of shades. I love this whole whole color story. Um, the only thing I will say is that it's not the most practical to use every day. However, like I said, if you love that color story, if you feel like pulling this out every day, then you know, you definitely can. Um, but for me, this is something special that I will pull out like on special occasions when I just have a little bit of extra time. But yeah, you can pick this up at jeffreestarcosmetics.com. Beauty Bay, Beauty Lish. I will have a link down below to Jeffree Star's website in case you are interested in checking it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can catch all my future videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.